So I know, and wow, what can I say? I know and your fans know that you um, have been collaborating with a lot of great artists recently. And some of the key names that pop up include Bus Crates and Kazzy. How do those relationships get started? Uh, well, <laughs> luck. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel very blessed for sure to have worked with them both. Um, to be honest, I, I think I initiated them. I, I reached out to both of them cause I've just been a huge fan of theirs. We'll start, I guess, with bus, bus crates. So, um, you know, I've been a fan of him for a while and, um, just thought, you know, what a great person to create music with. So I reached out and man, bus crates is just an incredible human being. Um, he's one of my best friends and that came about after working together, but I feel like I, you know, hit the jackpot. Cause not only do I get to work with him musically, but I have him in my life now, you know, personally, mm. he's such a great friend. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, I just hit him up, uh, one of his instrumentals on SoundCloud, uh, was really speaking to me, which was, um, lost and found. And it was an instrumental he had up there. And, um, Wow, I didn't you know, realize. Sorry to interrupt, but I didn't realize okay. this, that track was an instrumental on the SoundCloud in the beginning. Yeah, I went and did some digging. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it just was such a great uh, vibe instrumentally, and I couldn't tell if there were. I didn't notice that you know any vocals had ever been put on it. So I just reached out to him and said, "Hey, you know, I'm so and so," and. Uh, I really love your music and would love the opportunity to write to something of yours. And I really like this track. What do you think? And he was pretty much like, yo, <laughs> 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 he was really amped, um, and just humble, you know, and, um, it was just a really great interaction right out of the gate. Like he just, he's just such a warm dude and just such a nice person and, and totally down, you know, he probably didn't know much about me musically, but he gave me the chance, you know, so I went after it and, uh, that's how lost and found together was created. Wow. And, you know, it took quite a while to get that one done. I think it was like two years, two years. Yeah. Wow. We had played with it back and forth for quite a bit. There were a couple other versions of it. Um, and, uh, wow. No wonder then, the track you know, sounds perfect. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's, it's interesting, like, um, totally different scenario with the track with Kazi. Actually, that one was like a turnaround of maybe like two or three months. Mm. Um, you know, sometimes it goes that way. Sometimes it's, you know, something that you just sit on for years and years, and maybe it's just kind of sitting in someone's hard drive for a while. Or sometimes somebody needs that last track for their drop and you guys got to knock it out real quick. You know, it's just whatever. Mm. It's like every scenario is unique to that specific yeah. experience. So yeah. I'm just really like it, it, it was, it couldn't be any more perfect between bus crates and I, in terms of our chemistry and the way we work together. Um, he's taught me so much obviously. I just, I can't thank him enough for the opportunity to be on this LP he just put out blasting off. I mean, if you haven't heard it, get your ass out there and listen to it. <laughs> <Definitely>. <laughs> because I think we all can agree it's just a masterpiece and uh, I'm just really honored to be on that. Yeah, your, your, your features on there, because just to point out, for those who've not listened to the album, you're on the album twice as well. Yeah. And that's that's a very special a special moment in itself i think and more to come between him and i Ooh. you know like we Ooh. just we can't not we can't you know um deny the friendship and and the chemistry we have musically together so you guys have proven you know your love for what we're doing together so we're going to mm -hmm. keep it going definitely ah you heard it there you heard it there <laughs> studio funk more to come <laughs> 
of a collaboration of Sally Green and Bus Crates. Yeah. And like I mentioned earlier before as well, you've also recently released a track with Kazi as well, who's also been making a bit of noise. Yeah. Um, another really great opportunity. Um, Kazi's from France and he is another one that I've been just such a huge fan of. And, you know, I'm kind of, I'll just say, I, I put myself out there, you know, what's the worst somebody can say is no. Right. And yeah. so I go out and I, I knock on people's doors, so to speak. And I, if I'm feeling cer a certain way about someone's music and I want to, I'm inspired and I want to create with that person, I'm going to reach out to them, period. And so many great opportunities have happened for me because of that. And I would love to just tell somebody who's listening that needs to hear it, just do it. Just go out and, and ask, you know, it's the, it's the best thing to do for yourself. And, um, so yeah, again, I reached out to him and, and just said, Hey, <laughs> I love your music. <laughs> I would love the opportunity to write to something of yours. And um, yeah, same thing. He threw me a track and it was the Shooting Star track. And it was so fire <laughs> <laughs> that I wrote the lyrics and the melody and, and, and tracked the vocals to it, I want to say, in an afternoon, in like maybe five hours wow. or something silly. I was just in my studio, just knocking it out. I was just so in it, you know, and that's, that's a, a high that I can't describe to anyone, yeah. you know, you yeah. just, you fly, you know, when something is inspiring in that way, it's just like, that's where some of the best music has come from. I'm assuming from other artists as well. And, um, yeah, yeah so I sent it back to him and then he sent me another one, you know, and then that one's called free your mind. So I'm also on two tracks on his album that came out and forgive me. I want to say April called night city. Yes. And that is top to bottom, a solid album and like so many great collaborations as well on that album. Um, really another thing I'm very honored to be a part of. So go check that out. Um, and, uh, shooting star is like such a fun vibe. Yes. <laughs> and I just hope you guys, if you haven't heard it, I hope you love it. Cause I know a lot of people do. And I'm really proud of that track. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure our listeners right now want to get a sample of these tracks. Yeah. And, um, yeah, say no more. Let's, let's get into it right now. Let's get it. 